We are now pleased to welcome Global Co-General Manager of Samsung Pay, Thomas Ko. Hello. Good morning. Third day, right? Thanks for sticking around. Because the most important things happen on the third day, as you know. May 25th, May 25th this year, I uh, actually wrapped up my career in banking and 25 years in U.S. in three travel bags and on my way to South Korea to join technology company. And I wonder why. Experience is a funny thing. A lot of times you don't get to choose, but those big and small experiences pave the next way, visions, inspiration. So when I was in New Jersey, I had a little routine with my kids. So on Saturday morning, we take our bicycles, go across the street to a little ice cream store, Maria's Italian Ice. And we love their pistachio ice cream because mommy would not be uh, happy about that we are eating those ice creams for, for breakfast. And I thought to myself, you know what? Wouldn't it be better for me to go to those locations without my wallet and pay with my phone? When Samsung called me, they said that they're going to do Samsung Pay. And I thought to myself, you know what? This could be an opportunity. As many of you know, mobile payment is inevit inevitable. It is in the future but still not there yet because the customer adoption is a difficult thing. It's a challenge. Changing the behavior in a fundamental way requires a lot of things more than just a technology. And that's the reason why I joined Samsung Pay, because I believe that we truly have innovations and choices to be able to unlock the potential of mobile, of mobile payment first time ever to make our solutions available universally to wherever you can swipe or tap a card. So I'm thrilled to introduce to you the one and only and the true game changer, Samsung Pay. Shall we? Anything else today, dear? Just the coffee, thanks. How do you want to pay for that? I'll just use my phone. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have that here. Did you install something? $34.79. You see that? She just paid using her phone. I know, but they don't have the tap thingy here. Are you sure that's gonna work here? Yeah, why wouldn't it? I've just never seen anyone pay with their phone here. I think those only work at like fancy grocery stores. We fancy. Introducing Samsung Pay, the new mobile payment that works virtually anywhere your cards can be swiped or tapped, so you can use it without changing the places you shop, just the way you pay. I hope the irony of me using my mobile to pay for food at a mobile food truck is not lost on you gentlemen. Thank you. Three things. Samsung Pay. Number one, universal acceptance. Many of you guys know in money 2020 that there was a company called Lupe came up with a brilliant ideas of making magnetic secure transmissions. Coming up with in the invention, they will talk to the existing POS terminals. Samsung, recognizing the opportunity, made a smart move of acquiring the particular company and we embed it into our phone. Not only that, we work with NFC technology to be able to make sure that we are creating universal acceptance. That is what is important because it's not about technology. Yes, Samsung, we do innovations on technology, but it's not about that on Samsung Pay. It is more about customers' benefit, universal acceptances. You and I, we don't have to go to worrying about the little signs that this particular payment is accepted here, but be able to go and transact. 
for me to go take my kids on Saturday morning to go and buy that ice cream in Maria's Italian ice. That is universal acceptance. Second, simple simplicity. This is more of the art than science. We looked at simplicity of mobile payment and we said, you know what, where do we get that idea of simplicity? How do we make this really simple for our users to adopt? So we went to the normal behavior that people use, which is taking the wallets and taking your card out. He said, wouldn't that be interesting for us to mimic that behavior on the phone? So what we did is that even in the, power, in the screen off mode of the phone, all you have to do is a swipe up and then card will appear on the screen. Somehow, you know that uh, it's not working correctly. <laughs> Maybe it's my finger. <laughs> but, uh, you know, once you actually do that, then all you have to do is just showing the card that is on the screen. Third time is a try, so. <laughs> and then be able to transact on either MST or NFC. And removing all the steps for you to be able to unlock your phone and be able to get to the particular app and be able to transact. We'll be able to do that, the simplicity on our phone. Third most important thing, security. For Samsung, this is non-negotiable. So we built on three important pillars of security. Number one, biometric. Number two, tokenizations. Number three, industry-leading NAS platform, which we happened to build it before Samsung Pay. So within these three pillars of security, we created Samsung Pay that gives assurance of security to our customers. So. How are we doing so far? As you know, we have launched this particular solution in South Korea first on August 20th. And we just released some stat to the world saying that we have surpassed 1 million customers, over 100,000 transactions a day, surpassing over $100 million processing so far. It's a phenomenal. Actually, I happen to be in South Korea now, and wherever I go to merchants, I cannot find any stores that they don't know how to accept Samsung Pay anymore. Usually they say, hey, this is, that's not how you do it. Just take their phone and then they make the transactions. So South Korea is really happening. But you may say, okay, how about US? About one month from now, I mean, uh, 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 from today, on September 28th, we have launched in US. The early sign of the data is really encouraging. Let me just share a few things for you. Number one, out of the beta service that we have tried, over 90% of customers said that number one, they will continue to use, and number two, they will even recommend to their friends. And that's what we are seeing. So three out of four transactions that we see in Samsung Pay right now is done on MST, magnetic secure transmissions. And we're really seeing number of big percentage of power users using every single day. We are really seeing the early sign of customer adoption. And we are very, very encouraged by that. So where do we go from now? Well, there are a number of partners we are creating to bring more benefits to our users. Let's start with private labor cars. With a partnership with the Synchrony, we are bringing many merchants' private labor cars into our portfolio. What that means is now you'll be able to load these private labor cars and use it, not only using a barcode, a QR code, but at the same time using MSC technologies to be able to swipe, uh, to be able to tap in the locations where you traditionally swipe. Number two. What else is there? Gift cards. Thanksgiving is coming up. I'm sure many of you guys will receive gift cards. My kids, their favorite gift to me is now gift cards. We have many of them in our wallet. So what we decided is that let's bring the gift cards into Samsung Pay as well so that you can use in the store they usually go to. Through the partnership with Blackhawk, 
we are really encouraged and we are excited to launch gift cards, gift cards in Samsung Pay. Now, what else is there in our wallet as a plastic? Membership and loyalty cards. This is no brainer. We want to bring all those things into our wallets, into Samsung Pay so that you can use and, and truly for the first time get rid of your mobile or get rid of your wallets and start to perform mobile transactions. Not only this, we are expanding our ecosystems. Let's start with the financial industry. You know, there are many banks who are already working with us, but there are more extreme banks are joining our networks. Let's start with Chase. I'm sure many of you have mentioned that to us and we listened and the Chase is coming soon. Discover Networks, SunTrust, KeyBank, Fifth Third, TD Bank, all and many, many more. Those banks are now going to be our day two issuers soon. Carriers, US carriers, all the, uh, the major wireless carriers are now in Samsung Pay, starting with AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, US Cellular, and Verizon. We listen to you. But uh, for you to be able to find Samsung Pay, now Samsung Pay is available in Google Play Store. So all you have to do is just go and search, download, and then you can enjoy the benefit of Samsung Pay. Not only this, there are many, many more benefits of Samsung Pay because your card and your solutions that you are enabled in US, you can take it to any part of the world and you can make the transaction. Myself, during the last four weeks, I've been to Malaysia, United Kingdom, Spain, and then um, Singapore. I made a successful transactions on Samsung Pay. That's a great, great news. And number two, as you have heard, we are expanding countries to UK and Spain and China, and many, many more countries are being added on our roadmap. Because Samsung, we are a global company. Our phones are available globally, and our customers are there. So therefore, it is our mandate and mission to bring Samsung Pay to every location where Samsung phone is located. Final note, Samsung Pay, we really uh, value our partnerships. All the banks, networks, merchant acquirers, POS uh, terminal manufacturers, and many, many more. You guys are the really important part of the solutions of Samsung Pay. So I want to encourage every one of you to let us know how we can work together and create a wonderful solutions to your customers in the country where you operate so that we can bring the benefits to your customers together. One thing I learned when I was, uh, when, uh, since I joined Samsung, number one, we work very, very hard. Everybody from Lupe to Samsung HQ, all the, all the engineers, the people in New York, people in Dallas, people in Mountain View, we work truly 24 hours, seven days a week to be able to make Samsung Pay workable for you. And that's our commitment to you. Number two, we focus on innovation and choice. We believe in technical agnostic solutions. And so, uh, right now we start with MST and NFC, but going forward, if there are any other technical solutions that gives us a better value propositions from universal acceptance perspective and creating a benefit for our customers, we will go there together with you. So please let us know what we can do together and let's truly make the history happen of the mobile payments. Stay tuned. We have a much more exciting news to, to, to come within the, within the next few months. And then definitely we'll see you next year in Money 2020. Thank you very much.